everyone so today is September fashion favorite day um yeah so I'm sorry again I still feel a bit unwell so I'm not all there um but I have got a few favorites out I've got some shoes a few pieces of clothing but not too many and then I've got a few other fashion favorites which aren't like related to wait there are obviously going to be related to clothes but in a different way so I'm going to make a start first of all and I will see you at the end of the video. So I'm going to first start off with um, shoes, that's what I was going to say. So my first shoe I've been loving is my Converse and I've been absolutely loving these. These are just so, so comfortable and I mention them all the time in monthly favourites because I just can't get enough of them and these are just so beautiful and I've worn them in and they're starting to fade and just love them another shoe favorite has been these shoes which i did a unboxing video on these like back in not january this year or was it january this year yeah it was it was january this year so it was like months ago and the first time i wore them was this month so it's took quite a while for me to get in them but these are the top shop april chelsea boots from last year you can't obviously get these anymore unless they're in like last chance or whatever and that's what they look like and I'm absolutely in love with these shoes and yeah I will link the video to me unboxing down below so you can get more information on them and yeah they are just really really awesome I'm now going to move on to like proper like clothes favorites so first of all I've been loving my hat which is my fedora hat from Topshop and I just love it so so much it was about 25 pounds and I just I can't do it can I no but I do love it um, and now I'm going to move on to this which is my Scott from Zara oh, there we go right sorry my lighting's just going crazy mental over it but basically it's like this black the black Scott and I've got it in the grey and white pinstripe as well and I'm absolutely in love with these I wore my grey one to London Fashion Weekend so if you haven't seen the vlog for that I'll link it in the description box because it was just such a good day you guys um, oh god I don't want the camera to go mental on this next bit but this is my blazer from oh my god my lighting's gone mental um, from Topshop and it's sleeveless and it's just a really really nice jacket um, it was I believe around about £50 pounds. £50 pounds? yeah and it's just long and it's got the cut out sleeves and it's really long and I really really like it and I'm sorry you guys that the lighting's going mental but I've never really filmed from this angle obviously apart from my previous video which was obviously my beauty favourites um, but hope you guys are alright with that but I will get something sorted out about it and this last proper clothing favourite is my pleather skirt from Topshop now this was last year's version but they brought them back out this year Just I think it's just due to public demand because of how well they sold last year and this is just obviously the high waisted one and it's really really pretty and I absolutely love it. So I'm now going to move on to other fashion favourites which there's two, in fact no, three, three, do do do. Right okay I'm going to stop doing that. Right so um, my first fashion favourite which is not clothing or shoes or accessories related is um a program that I briefly watched I haven't seen all but from what I have seen it's just amazing it's not like a series it was like a one-off documentary that was on channel 4 I'll link it in the description box below if you want to catch up on it on 4 or day um, and it was called Fab fabulous fashionistas and it was all about like women who were like average age of 80 who wanted to like um fight for ageism and become models and stuff which was really cool but they were like you know like they exercise all the time and they ate healthy and they just wore whatever they want and I just thought it was really really inspirational and um, so I'll link that in the description box in fact I'm going to finish watching it uh, tomorrow because I was watching it on 4D on my sister's PS3 and it kind of just like half died on itself so um, I was disappointed but I am going to catch up on it and I will probably do a little review about it on my blog just because it was just so good and um, another fashion favourite obviously because in September I went to london fashion weekend and it was phenomenal you guys um 
obviously I did like I said previously in the video um, I did do a vlog about it and it will be linked down below so you guys can check that out and it was just a really really good day and I just like really enjoyed it and the atmosphere was insane and I got front row seats and you know I, I haven't well actually I think I'm going to be doing the blog post tonight so by the time this video goes up um the blog post should be up so I'll link my blog down below so you guys can also um check that out as well and my last fashion favorite for September was a book and there's been a lot of bad reviews about it but personally I really really loved it and to be honest I wasn't going to tell you but um I am planning on doing a book review about it I know book reviews aren't really anything to do with fashion or beauty but because this technically is a fashion book it's also got a bit of beauty thrown in and I'll explain where and um, because I will be quoting and things but it is Alexa Chung's It and to be fair I'm not saying it just because like I'm a fan of hers and I think she's amazing but this was our first ever book and I think for our first book she's done amazing and I personally I really really loved it so Alexa Chung's It I got the signed edition just because what kind of fan would I be if I didn't? So there's the signed bit there. And this book was... Well, in the shops it was 16 99 but I only paid £13 because I pre-ordered it, so I got it cheaper. Um, and this... Just this book, it's just... There's so much to it which makes me laugh, and she makes so many good points, and I feel like I can relate to a lot of things that she says about fashion. Um, and like I say, there will be a review about it, there'll be a blog post about it and I will let you know, well you'll obviously see when the video comes up and then I will link the blog post down below so you guys can check that out. So that's it for my fashion favourites for September. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, um, give it a thumbs up, oh my thumb clicked, if you enjoyed it, sorry if you can see that, like I say obviously I filmed straight after so there's a lovely swatch there of the lipstick I was talking about um, and yeah so um, next videos coming up um, next week are going to be um, some hauls so there'll be a clothing haul there'll be a beauty haul so you guys can check that out when it comes in there'll be blog posts on it which will be linked when they go up and yeah so give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos and I just want to quickly say and I know I keep saying this constantly but I can't believe how happy I am since I've got my camera it's so much more better than like I ever could have imagined so I'm gonna let you guys go after that and I will see you all next week bye